Hello again. Now, in a previous video, I made this with a IC Prog 172, and um, it, you know we got past the chip enable program error, but it wasn't working. I came back in here to check it. So I thought I'd try it with USB Tiny and AVR Dude. This is AVR Dude, and the only reason I have it on here is because somebody in a blog managed to change the config file to include the AT89S52. And he had, you know, problems with it. I think by the end of the blog, I, I just said, let me try and see if it's working. So what we're reading here, the AT89S52 is somebody else's previous work that I was able to copy and paste on the config file for AVR Dude um, GUI. So as you saw with uh, Pro ISP and USB-S, um, it, it always came with an error, right? Now this finds it. You know, this is uh, checking my chip, which is blank. I erased it on here with my other programmer. So it's reading, you know, it's reading the, the flash memory, and it's going to spit out a file for me called, you know, I forget the name. But it's going to give me the results in a minute. And it says they're writing out the file flash read dot hex. And that is and that is um uh, I'm gonna close this right through. This is here an IVR dude and is blank. Uh flash read is blank, nothing. Okay, now I haven't really tried this yet, I'm just doing it, you know, filming it as I'm as we're going along for the first time. So set up USB Tiny programming. Let's get a flash file. I have this uh, hex file here. Let's see if it programs it. It says it's not recognized as a kernel thing. So the the eighty fifty one core definitely is a problem. Uh, let's make sure that, um, let's try some, this is Motorola S second, let's try something else here, let's try that hex file, and, no, it doesn't like it either. So let's see if it erases it. It says it has an invalid device signature. Let's see if it's true. Let's see, USB tiny, come on. Okay. So these things are, I think they're. They have like the wrong device signature for the AT89S52. And their signature is a bunch of codes. So using this tiny like this this calibration program. But uh um well let's put wait a minute, Intel Hex. Maybe it was using a uh, wrong format thing here. Let's see program. No. GUI execute is not recognized. So his file could have bugs, you know, but uh, it's it's pretty uh daunting. That they have the name of the you know, you have the name of the chips and things that and there's such poorly written documentation on this. Let me see if it'll read it again. Now it's saying now it's saying 
that uh, that it doesn't even know it. Let me try and read it again. Let's see, make sure we got it. USB tiny com one program read. So it says it doesn't know it now after it read it the first time. Unless I have a problem here with my connection. Let's see what we read. Yeah, it could have been a connection issue. Let's see. Let's load a file. And uh, make sure we got USB tiny there programming. Let's reboot the programming thing, like reset the reset and everything. And then program. Nope, it doesn't recognize it. How about if we reset the thing and read it? Still doesn't, so it's really weird. It's not really. I have to start over. Let's load the program. Try the tags. USB time, program, program. Yep. But if we reset the thing, and here we are, do read, it will read it. Apparently, apparently, it found apparently it found the signature to get in there. Was, I'm reading it. Let's try another little experiment while we're here. So okay, so that's fine. And I know that flash file is empty. Let's program something in it and see if it, it reads it actually. I'm gonna program something in it and something I know that does work. I can get it in there the pin state bound. Okay let's program let's program anything here. Okay let's open any file my project thing. Okay, we got all those th things there. There we go. Let's verify that the code is in that chip. And let's exit out of here. So this chip now has a whole bunch of code. Let's pop it back. Well, let's disconnect this first to be sure. Oops, sorry. Get my hands out of your eyes. Okay, now let's go to Pro Guy. I mean, here we are. Do setup for USB Tiny, and let's read it. So we're reading it, and it's gonna spit out a file. If we read the code from there, there's a little progress with this. Apparently nothing is working but the Arduino as a ISP programmer. And there's uh, there's uh, codes and things in destructibles.com for ISP Arduino eighty fifty one. Excuse me. Let's see what comes out. I'm gonna look in the folder it made uh, Flash read hex file something. Yes. So it is reading it, okay? But is not I cannot program it for some damn reason. I'll try one last thing and I'm gonna load that file. Let alone desktop, maybe I do. Oh, 
AVR to EEPROM read file, okay. So we still on USB time, sometimes it will change it. Let's try and program it. Is that is something with the signature? It has some kind of signature error. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, neither of them is working for um, AT89S52 or 53. So I'm by neither. I mean, I uh, um, prog ISP or AVR dude with the modified comp file, which apparently has an error with the signature. But for sure, prog ISP has a signature error also. So that's why they're not working. Over and out. Bye.